Having defined our extract and load process, along with data quality, and also all of our transformations, we now have all of the modules necessary for a full end-to-end -end data warehouse build. However, at the moment, in order to execute each stage, we would have to go into each module and click to run or generate. We can use the Orchestrate It module to bring together all of the various different stages in the build process to automate the end-to-end -end data warehouse build process. To access Orchestrate It, we simply click the Orchestrate It link, and that takes us to the orchestration screen. To create an Orchestrate It orchestration, click the Add button and give the orchestration a name. In this case, we're going to call the orchestration AdventureWorks Build. Click the Save button and that set up the orchestration ready. We can now define the orchestration by clicking the Edit button once more. Here we have a blank canvas in which we can add the various stages in the Orchestrate It Build. By clicking the New button, we add in a stage in the orchestration build process, known as a movement. A movement can be any one of a number of things. A SQL command, a data loader, a transformation or star space, a qubit light cube or qubit cube, an external SSIS package, or an orchestration status check. This enables us to check to see whether a previous orchestration has run successfully before actually running the next stage in this orchestration. So we'll need to start with a data loader, so we select data loader. The AdventureWorks data loader is the data loader we want in our orchestration, so we click save. That creates a box to show the placeholder for the data loader AdventureWorks. We then add in our transformation, our AdventureWorks transformation, and also our AdventureWorks star schema. We can then add in finally our two cubes, our qubit light cube and also our AdventureWorks star cube. Now we need to define the dependencies between each of the stages in the orchestration. We need our data loader to complete before the transformation space can be run. So we define a link between the two. We also need our data loader to complete before our star space can build, so we put a link in between the two. Once our transformation space is completed, we can then build our qubit like cube. So we put a link between those two as well. Finally, our star space needs to build before our final cube can build. So this diagram now represents the full end-to-end -end data warehouse build, including the dependencies between each of the stages. Having finished, we click the Close, and again, the Generate, which will generate the orchestrated orchestration for this particular data warehouse build process. At the Data Services event log, the log entry goes orange to show us that the orchestration is being built, and when it's complete, the log entry goes green. What this has done is built for us an SSIS package which implements that orchestration process. We can either run the orchestration directly from the orchestrated screen, or alternatively we can use the SQL agent to schedule the orchestration to be run at time intervals defined within that schedule. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you the orchestration in the Business Intelligence Development Studio. So if I bring up bids now, I've already created a blank project ready to open the SSIS package into. So I right click and say add an existing package. I'm going to load the package from my local version of SQL Server and pick up that AdventureWorks build SSIS package that I've just generated using the orchestrator. Click OK and then that's loaded into the project. Having added it to the project I can now open it up and look at it. All of the SQL Server elements that Data Academy generates, whether it be Data Loader or an orchestration, are fully audit trailed and error logged. And here is an example of an SSIS package which is generated by Data Academy for orchestration. And we can see the steps here whereby the Data Services event log is initiated. Then a step is logged to say a Data Loader is about to be run. Here, the data loader is actually run. In this case, it's the AdventureWorks data loader. 
In the event of a failure of the data loader, a log entry is made to say that the data loader has failed and the SSIS package halts at that point. In the event of success, a success entry is loaded and then both the data space and the star space are kicked off simultaneously. So in addition to bringing together all of the items in the data warehouse build process, it also provides us with the capability of running items in parallel, thus maximizing the efficiency of the build time. In the event that both the data space and the star space complete successfully, a success entry is logged in the data services event log and both the sales analysis and the adventure works cubes are kicked off. If again both are successful, success stages are logged and we get a complete data services event log telling us that the orchestration completed successfully. So let's see that in action. If I come back to the top of the SSIS package and just click the run button As each stage is completed, the stage turns green. When a stage in the build process is running, it turns yellow. So here, the data loader is running, but the steps that identify the entries in the data services log have already been completed as they've gone green. If any stage should fail, that stage will go red. So there we see the data loader has completed execution successfully, an entry for the success has been logged, and the data space and star space have been kicked off. The data space has completed in advance of the star schema and therefore it's begun the building of the data space based cube. The star space however continues to build until such time as it completes. The star space having completed it can now go ahead and build the cube based on the star space that we defined. So now both cubes are building simultaneously. The cube space having completed now waits for the qubit light cube to complete so that we can identify whether the full orchestration was successful. The qubit light cube having completed successfully results in a successful step log in the data services event log and then eventually a completion status within the event log as well to show that the whole orchestration completed successfully. So the orchestrator is an extremely flexible way of defining dependencies and data warehouse build processes that is fully error trapped and fully audit trailed.